Case fans are some of the most prolific parts in the PC hardware industry and are branded by dozens of companies, but only a handful source the parts and make their own fans in-house. In today's factory tour, we'll be looking at how PC case fans are actually manufactured and assembled. The manufacturing process will be demonstrated by the Deepcool semi-automated fan manufacturing plant at Deepcool's Shenzhen, China location, where the company manufactures its own liquid cooling and fan products from scratch. It has also begun building out CNC equipment to build operations for cold plate manufacturing starting later this year, but today we're focusing on the fans. If you didn't know, Deepcool also manufactures components for other brands, major ones that you're likely familiar with, serving as a sort of supplier for air cooling parts for other aspects of the industry. Today's focus is on fan manufacturing with future videos focused on how liquid cooling and air cooling parts are made. Before that, this video is brought to you by the Gigabyte AORUS AD27QD Gaming Monitor. The AD27QD is a 27-inch 1440p gaming display with 95% of DCI-P3 color saturation for high color accuracy, accompanied by a 1 millisecond response time, 10-bit IPS panel, and Display HDR Visa certification. Additional features include fluid adjustment and slide, RGB LEDs for personal flair, and firmware features like cooldown counters, reticles, and adaptive noise reduction. Learn more at the link below. On the lines today are both Deepcool branded and other brand fans, with the newly built automated fan assembly line working on the Deepcool units. The company also has a manual fan assembly line, but it's transitioning away from this process and building up more automation as it moves along. The fan factory starts with strict guidelines to eliminate dust entering the facility. Visitors and workers must walk through an airlock of sorts, which requires the entrant to walk through a wind chamber so that any dust particles are removed prior to entry. Visitors and workers also must wear anti-dust covers on their shoes to prevent tracking in any unwanted dust. Deepcool requires these processes to ensure dust doesn't enter the sensitive fan bearings or motors, where specks of dust could create a whining noise coming from inside of the fan motor. Deepcool's old manufacturing line assembled products by hand and is still operating, but the process takes longer than with the new automated approach. The new approach uses a machine that does the work of eight technicians and is aided by a handful of operators to ensure the process goes smoothly. The first step of the process is for four workers to hand solder fan cables to the PCBs, where workstations equipped with exhaust fans ensure the solder fumes are whisked away from the workers. Each station is equipped with soldering irons and soldering equipment, along with a tray of the components being soldered for that day. The completed PCBs are placed into trays that eventually move onto the assembly line, where operators begin assembling the PCB and fan frame into a single unit, and the frame gets placed onto an automated conveyor belt that carries the frame down the line, eventually encountering a machine which picks up the frame and places it into a tray to firmly secure the fan body. At the same time as this happens, an operator loads fan blades onto another conveyor belt, where a series of hydraulic arms equipped with suction cups move the fan blades from one belt to another. While the blades are moving down the opposing conveyor belt, the fan blades move through a series of laser-guided processes to assemble and secure the internals of the hub. The electromagnet is already installed at this point, so the first steps include pressing the hub assembly tighter so that it's more secure, then moving it down the line for installation of a gasket. The gasket comes from a circular hopper, where gaskets move around the circular hopper until they're fed to an arm that fits the gasket onto the hub. The next item in the line is another hopper, this one filled with bearings that go through another laser-guided process of installation. A claw grabs the bearing and fits it into the fan, at which point the fans are then picked up by suction cups and moved down to another position in the metal frames. Lubricant is soon applied, and then the fan blade is moved from the opposing side's conveyor belt and into a carrier. From here, it's moved via suction cup to the fan body and then dropped into the hub. The body is then moved down the line once more, moving from one carrier into another, those metal frames that hold the fan frame. And this fan now contains a blade. It's also moved into the center of the machine so that another tool can press fit the blade onto the fan securely and tighten the two together. At this point, the Deepcool Gamax 400 fan is complete and can be moved down the line. The fans are dropped onto a conveyor belt and automatically funneled into a low noise test chamber where technicians physically listen to the fan from multiple different angles, up, down, and vertical, to check for any more subjective or undesirable whines or hums. 
This testing is done at 100% PWM signal or maximum speed, and after this, the fans are conveyed out of the room within a room to a testing station that's manned by another operator. The operator connects the fan to a power source that's built into the table, and the source spins up the blades to 30% PWM signal, at which point the PWM signal quality is tested against a specified requirement for quality control using scopes and other testing equipment. Bad fans, if they are encountered, are bin aside for later inspection and maybe reclaiming some of the parts, although these are rare, and the rest of them continue to get boxed in packaging in another room. This completes the PC case fan manufacturing process at Deepcool's Shenzhen factory. The process is similar at other fan factories, it's just that Deepcool has implemented its automated line earlier than some. Motors and PCBs are made by partners as specified through the manufacturer, they're fed through the assembly line, and then they're put together either by hand or by machine. In the case of Deepcool, the company hopes to add more automated lines in the future to increase production capabilities. Its automated fan assembly is relatively new and is still getting regular tweaks, so next time we show this, it'll probably be quite a bit different. Soon though, the company hopes to see wider rollout across other product lines and across partner lines for products that Deepcool makes for some of its industry partners. Make sure you're subscribed to get notified about our other upcoming content like a Gigabyte factory tour, deep cool air cooling and liquid cooling factory walkthrough, and some more EVGA content. You should also check out the King Bin Overclocking Lab Tour if you haven't. As always, you can support our factory tours and trip to Asia by visiting store.gamersnexus.net to buy one of our two-tone lightweight hoodies, or by going to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.